The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, known as HUD, just released the fair market rents for 2023. FMRs are estimates of the amount of money that it would take to cover rent and utilities. And in Spokane, that number is on the rise. KXLY's Jordan Smith joins us live from outside the Spokane Housing Authority to break down the numbers. Well, Kirsten, this number is based on 40% of rental housing units in the area. Basically, it's the number that renters are expected to pay between rent and utilities. And in 2023 in Washington state, overall, it's going to rise 10%. Here in Spokane specifically, it's going to rise 16%. Now, what this means is this is going to expand the number of households with housing vouchers to access affordable, stable housing. Here's what it takes to qualify today for those housing vouchers. You must either be homeless, live in sub standard condition housing, pay more than 50% of your household income on rent and utilities, or have household income at or below the area median income. In Spokane, that's about $27,000 for a single household and $66,000 for married households. Now, housing voucher holders are unable to use those vouchers is because the value of their vouchers has not kept up with the rapid rent increases. These new FMRs will make it easier for voucher holders facing this challenge to access affordable housing in most housing markets while expanding the range of housing opportunities available to households. And to apply for a housing voucher, you can visit SNAP or you can come here to the Spokane Housing Authority. Their contact information should be on your screen now and they can walk you through the application process. Here in Spokane tonight, I'm Jordan Smith for News Now. Thank you, Jordan. More